still no arrest tonight in a weekend shooting death. It happened Saturday afternoon in the city's Portland neighborhood. WLKY's Annalisa Gale reports. The shooting happened around 5.30 Saturday evening, prompting some neighbors to peek outside their doors. I heard the shot. Uh, I thought someone had hit one of the cars out front. I looked out. I didn't see anything. A wounded man was later found in an alley behind the 2700 block of Alford Avenue. It was taped off for hours while officers scoured the crime scene for a suspect believed to be armed with a shotgun. A few minutes later, I looked back out, and K-9 units were here. Um, and that's when I really realized what was going on, that somebody had been shot. In the midst of the commotion, Doug Dunaway watched as EMS workers tried to save the man's life. They took him out on a stretcher. Uh, I'm assuming he was doing fine when he left here. Uh, they didn't have him covered over, uh, and they had a mask on his face. He later died at University Hospital. It's tragic that it happened so close to my home. Also close by is an elementary school. I mean, my mom down the street here, she has her uh, grandkids at her house. She has six grandkids, and last night when we heard about this, we got her kids in the house, my kids in the house. Neighbors are hoping police will soon catch up with the suspect. I mean, it could be any face on the street. You know, we don't know who it was. Wishes to his family, prayers, and hope somebody gets some sort of justice. Two surveillance cameras are in the alley where the murder happened. In the newsroom, I'm Annalisa Gale, WLKY News. So far, the coroner's office has not released the victim's name.